Oh, she's perfect, my wife. <laughs> Never makes any mistakes. But this is the same person that walks around our house every day going, call my phone. Can you call my phone? I, I, don't, I don't know where my phone is. Can you? Babe, just call it. Babe, call my phone. Ah, oh, it's in my purse. <laughs> I had it on silent. A couple argues. Our main arguments over uh, communication stuff. And I feel like that's every couple has some kind of communication issue. I know what ours is. It's the same argument all the time. My wife, Lindsay, thinks that I don't listen to her enough. And I don't care about that. <laughs> and it upsets her that I don't care. And she's right. I could listen more. I could definitely work on more effective listening. And I will when she starts working on telling better, shorter stories. <laughs> Why is it always the listener's fault? That's not logical. People love to be entertained by a good story. They love to be captivated by a good tale. If someone consistently doesn't love your stories, well, maybe you're no Stephen King, my friend. Maybe less details, more action. Wrap it up from time to time. He's always like, are you even listening right now? No, how could I be? I'm a human being. My attention span has limits. You've been talking for 25 minutes about some lady I have never met. Having problems I do not care about. If this was a channel, I would have changed it 25 minutes ago. <laughs>